Uncompromising fashion, it's Alonso versus Hamilton. Judged to have blocked his teammate in qualifying yesterday, the world champion is relegated down the grid. Ron Dennis angry, but Lewis on pole after another day of learning what this strange world of Formula One is all about. You sort of learn what can happen in, in, in motorsport, who you can trust, who you can't, whether you do believe people or whether you don't. Um, and there's so much politics going around. You, it's really easy for that politics to affect your, you and your job. And the most important thing for me is just to focus on my job. And there's plenty more to come from a very reflective Lewis Hamilton as we welcome you to Budapest for this Hungarian Grand Prix, the 11th round of the Formula One World Championship, and yet another controversial twist in this extraordinary season. Good afternoon. It was 11.35 last night that the stewards announced their decision to relegate Fernando Alonso five places down the grid for his offence of impeding Lewis Hamilton at the climax of yesterday's qualifying. They also announced that they will be preventing uh, McLaren from scoring any Constructors' Championship points at this race, but that's something that McLaren are appealing against. Now, this is the race that we welcome the former Formula One world champion Damon Hill to the ITV commentary team in the absence of Martin Brundle. I don't know what you and Mark make of the events of the last 24 hours but Damon the politics in this sport are as lively as ever aren't they well you know I think that you can take it as politics but actually what happened yesterday was necessary I think that Fernando Alonso was seen to be holding up uh, another driver albeit his teammate and he was penalized for it so I think that was a fair decision but we know that there are also politics going on with Ferrari and McLaren so there's always spice isn't there in this show and it's also a question mark, uh, Mark, opposed against the integrity of McLaren. And that really hurts within this team, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And uh, McLaren are very big on that kind of thing. But at the end of the day, from what I can see, I'm not so sure that the punishment fits the crime, Steve. And uh, that's what we really have to look at. Well, it was a very reflective Lewis Hamilton that we talked to last night because really it was his defiance of team instructions in that last session of qualifying that triggered the whole problem within the team. And it also prompted a very angry exchange with uh, the team boss, Ron Dennis. Ted Kravitz now can take us through uh, the whole timetable of events in this controversy. McLaren say this was a case of cock-up rather than stitch-up. It all started when Hamilton, who was heavier with fuel, deliberately disobeyed an instruction to let the lighter Alonso pass so that the Spaniard could have the chance to go for pole. So when Alonso came in early for his first shot at pole position, he was already angry with Hamilton. To make sure Fernando was fed back onto a clear track, Alonso's engineer gave him a countdown to leaving the pit that was signalled to the Spaniard by lollipop man Pete Vale. On that first attempt then, Alonso was logically slower than Hamilton because Lewis was on the soft tyres and by staying out in front, he had burned off one more lap of fuel. So with his chances of pole slipping away, a still wound up Alonso pits for one last attempt. He gets another traffic countdown, this time for 20 seconds. That countdown ends with 1 minute 48 seconds remaining. The lollipop goes up, but Alonso waits while he has an unusual and untimely argument with his engineers about why he hasn't been given soft tyres. By now, it's too late for Hamilton. The clock confirms there's not enough time for Lewis to get out and set a final lap time. McLaren have messed up the management of their drivers, and the stewards judge that by having this argument about the tyres, Alonso unnecessarily impeded his own teammate. Ron Dennis is furious. This, for the record, is Alonso's version of events. We always stop. We wait for the countdown in the radio, and we go. Sometimes it's 10 seconds, sometimes 45 seconds, like the first stop of today. Sometimes 10 or 15, like the second, but I think the calculation was wrong because my teammate didn't complete the lap and I crossed the line with two or three seconds. So it was really, really tight. And, uh, you know, it's, these things unfortunately happened today to us. So you're saying that your engineer was giving you a countdown on the radio as, as to when you should leave the box? Yes. Did you see Lewis was behind you? Yes. And did you see Pete Vale, your chief mechanic, waving to you to leave the box? Yes. So you took the, uh, the words of your, of your engineer rather than Pete Vale telling you to leave? Yes, because uh, sometimes the mechanic, uh, when they see another car behind, they try to change the tires and go. But my, I have the radio five, four, three, two, so I wait for the zero. Okay. It's, it's, it's unfortunate then some people jump to the conclusion that you did it deliberately. I know, I know, because uh, I think the TV shows that and shows Ron not very happy, but I think he's not happy with the engineers, they do the calculation or whatever. Not only did the stewards reject Alonso's explanations, they also found McLaren's actions were prejudicial to the interests of the sport and docked them their constructors' points from this race, a decision McLaren have now appealed. 
So with Fernando's five-place grid penalty, Lewis Hamilton is now on pole with Nick Heidfeld alongside. Alonso starts sixth. Another man in trouble with the stewards is Giancarlo Fisichella, who was docked five places for blocking Yamamoto's spiker. Felipe Massa starts 14th after Ferrari forgot to refuel him before his last qualifying run. So the stewards were certainly...